how does Paul fall into your uh, your reconstruction or speculation? Uh, Paul or Saul came along later. Uh, I believe he was an agent under uh, uh, Roman influence by uh, Shimon Caiaphas or uh, uh, even uh, Josephus, uh, who was a uh, uh, meant to uh, destabilize the early Christian cult and uh, advocate that they break away from the traditional uh, Hebrew uh, religious uh, beliefs and uh, practices. Uh, for example, uh, encouraging that one didn't need to be circumcised, uh, that one could uh, practice the, uh, the uh, Passover uh, or the, uh, uh, the Last Supper as opposed to the Passover feast. And uh, one didn't need to keep the uh, lunar solar calendar, that one could go by only the solar civic calendar, uh, and all those sorts of, that one could be saved by baptism uh, and repentance, all of the doctrines that eventually became the uh, uh, sacraments of the uh, Catholic Church uh, were essentially invented by uh, Saul or Paul later. And I don't believe that really any of them were necessarily uh, advocated for by Jesus himself necessarily. Uh, we have definitely the Lord's prayer uh, was spoken by Jesus, but other than that, you know, the, the different beliefs of full immersion baptism or just sprinkling water over the brow or how much wine and how much wafer we have to eat to, you know, receive the sacrament of the transubstantiation. All of that argument is irrelevant because it's all ex, ex post facto. It's all after Jesus's life and death and had nothing to do with his teachings. <laughs>